So the first thing here is we are matching the in equation to the correct graph. We want to shade in, we can either shade in the true region or the false region. All right. So part of linear programming. Let's look at the first equation. Let's suppose I got y is greater than or equal to 4. The first thing we have to remember that this means greater than or equal to 4. Now, if I draw this up, you can first note that it is coming from which axis it's coming from? The y axis. Okay, because it's a y value, and it says y is greater than equal to 4. It's coming from the y axis, so that's y there, and this is x. Greater than or equal to 4 means that it must include 4. When we include a number greater than or equal to, we use a solid line. But when it's strictly greater than, we use a broken line. And a broken line looks like that, a solid line looks like that. Now, greater than or equal to will give you the idea of what you need to shade. So let's grab 4 from the y axis. And let's draw a solid line. Let's draw a solid line through 4. y equals 4 all the way through. And then from here, you've got to shade upwards. All right? Because it's greater than. What does greater than mean? It means more than, right? So that basically would be that whole region above the line over there. Okay, the line is slightly skewed at the bottom, but it's all good. So that's what we're shading in the region, the region above, which is greater than. Okay. So then you're programming over there. Okay, now let's go to the next thing. I got x is greater than or equal to 4. Let's draw the axes in. Locate 4 on the Cartesian plane and look for it on the x axis. So this is my y value, this is my x value. 4 is over here. Draw a solid line. Draw a solid line vertically through 4. Because x is equal to 4 throughout that entire space. Okay. Now that you have that, we're saying that x is greater than or equal to 4. Which means it will be on this side over here. Okay, so that means greater then or equal to 4. So all the way on the right hand side of this, like that. Okay, let's go to the next one. The next one now, we're going to use the broken line one, right? I forgot y is less than 4. But y is less than 4. Less than, not equal to, less than 4. So strictly less than 4. Let's go on to our Cartesian plane and grab 4 from the y-axis. 4 from the y-axis, which is over here. And now... What you want to do is draw a dotted line. Okay, so I'm going to draw a solid line. I'm just going to make it dotted after this. So a dotted line, not the solid line. Solid line is when it's less than or equal to. So dotted line. All right, so then we got a dotted line. Okay, as far as possible. And it is less than, strictly less than, right? Which means it's got to go below the line. Less than means 
below the line. When it's below the y axis, like that, there. looks like it'll be in that region all the way down from the line going downwards over there. I guess my y axis makes sense. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next one is x is less than 4. x is less than 4. Strictly less than 4. Got these in plain. Label your axes, y axis, x axis. Locate 4 on it. And draw a broken line at that point. So solid line goes right there, and from there now, I'm just going to make it into a dotted line. Now why is it a dotted line? It's a dotted line because it's strictly less than, it's not equal to 4. And because it's less than, it's going to have to lie on the left hand side. So we shade in the left hand side. Now, what have I done in each of these cases? In each of these cases, I've shaded in what is known as the true region. I've shaded in the true region. This is the region which is true. And this is the region which is false. So if I choose any number over here and substitute it in there, it will be false. If I choose any number over here and substitute it in there, it will be true. Likewise, this is my true region, and this is my false region. Any number over here would be true, and any number over here will be false. Likewise here, true region, and on top, false region. Any number over here, true, etc. Likewise here, true. Now sometimes we are asked to shade in the false region. Okay? So let's suppose the question says, Draw the graph of y less than 1 shading in shading the region which is false. Okay. So here we go. Y less than 1, broken line. Let's get our Cartesian plane and let's locate Y equals to 1. Alright, so there's Y equals to 1 over there. And it's a broken line because it's not, it's not less than or equal to. And the question, however, does not want us to shade in the true region. They want us to ch shade in the region which is false, and this is where we have to read the question very carefully because this changes the answer. Because now the answer is going to be not this way. That's that's not what they want. That's that's true. Less than one is true. Greater than one is false. All right. Now, let's see if we can look at this in the form of a summary. Okay. Well, let's suppose I'm given a few graphs and I'm asked to find the different regions. Okay, so let's say I'm given four graphs. One, two, three, and four. And in each case, so this one here would be a solid line if they went this way, this one would be a solid line if they went this way, this one at the bottom, and this one like on this side. And in each part, we've got a shaded region. So I'm going to shade this region over here at the bottom, this one I'm going to shade the region on the right. The next one I'm going to shade the region above, and this one I'll shade the region on the left.
Now for each of these, I need to write down the equation. All right. So let's say this number is two. This number is four. This number over here is negative three. And this number here is seven. Don't forget your y-axis, x-axis, y-axis, x-axis. This is now reversing the whole process, right? Y-axis is over there, where the arrows are. Okay, and we want to write down what is the equation for each of the shaded bars. Okay, the first one over here is, um, you can see this is zero, and this is true, and it's going downwards, and it's a solid line, all right? A solid line from y equals two. So it's y less than or equal to two, going downwards. This one here, y is not going to be y. This is going to x, right? And it's going this way. So x is greater than or equal to 4. This one over here is going up. So it's going to be y is greater than or equal to negative 3. And this one here is going left. So this is going to be x is less than or equal to so, okay. Y less than because it's going down, right greater than or equal to. All of them are greater than equal to because it's solid line. Now, on a single graph, on a single graph, together, fulfilling the following inequalities, shade the true region for x is less than 1, x is greater than or equal to negative 2, y is less than 4, and y is greater than or equal to 0. All right, try this question and see if you can draw all the graphs together on one Cartesian plane for that. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I am going to draw my Cartesian plane. Then specifically, I'm looking for x equals to 1, x equals to negative 2, y equals to 4, and y equals to 0 is obviously on the x-axis. Remember, anything with x is a vertical line. So x equals to 1 would be a vertical line, which is solid, I mean, broken through this. Okay, it's going to be x, and less than 1 is going to be this region shaded on the left-hand side. Let's go to y less than 4. y less than 4 is a dotted line, and you've got to shade downwards because it's less than. x greater than negative 2 x greater than negative 2 means that we have to have a solid line at negative 2 and we have to shade in the region which is to the right of it which means that this region over here will be the region which will fulfill all the graphs together this region here would be less than 1 greater than or equal to negative 2 less than 4 and also greater than or equal to 0 because 0 goes above this way here. And that would be the true region over there. The true region would be shaded like that. Thing. Okay. 